Hey you guys, it's Brie tonight. We're here with an update on Miss Gypsy Rose, her giving her ring back to Ryan and a note that was left with that ring. And I just find this entire thing to be very interesting. She's over here literally becoming famous, gallivanting all around town, like I said, you know, in my opinion, just serving garbage. Um, and then we have things like this where she, she'll do these things to try to make herself look better. But honestly, um, this entire thing is just embarrassing at this point. Um, but as I've said in other videos, y'all are interested. I'm interested. So I'm going to cover it when there are updates that, um, I think are worthwhile. So we're going to talk about that. And then I also want to touch on the, uh, pixie situation again. I have a lot of dog lovers that watch my channel and I know a lot of y'all are um, very opinionated when it comes to the topic of Pixie, but I had some, I had an old video that I remembered thinking of things current day along with how Gypsy has handled this um, and I just wanted to kind of bring it full circle. So if you're interested, please keep watching. guys so let's start with the wedding wedding ring topic and this of course comes from tmz because allegedly in my opinion gypsy rose is feeding them all kinds of information so that her name will not die out of their freaking headlines but it says gypsy rose blanchard has already given back her wedding ring to a estranged husband ryan anderson because the piece of jewelry meant quite a bit to him TMZ has learned. Sources close to Gypsy tell, C tell TMZ she felt it was the right thing to do to give back the ring as it was a family heirloom given to Ryan by his mom. We're told Gypsy Rose left the ring with Ryan when she made the decision to end her marriage along with an apology note next to their bed on March 22nd. Here's a photo of the ring. Of course, I will include it. The note read, I'm sorry, you and I deserve happiness. Legally speaking, she didn't have to return the ring. Once they tied the knot, it was hers unconditionally. So what, are we supposed to give Gypsy Rose a freaking parade, TMZ? Are we supposed to send her a basket of chocolates? Like, for her being such a good citizen, um, you know, please, like there, in my opinion, there was infidelity. Uh, there was a lot of, um, you know, secret conversations going on that Ryan knew nothing about. And at the end, it was Gypsy painting him out to be just this, in, in her own words, it was somebody who was food hoarding and not being nice to her. And he slept too hot. When in my opinion, I think what happened was as soon as she was released and she had her own cell phone and, you know, all of that, she and Ken got back into communication with one another. And once she realized that Ken was just going to, you know, jump when she says how high, she decided to abandon her marriage for it. I don't think that any of us are dumb enough to think that this was some kind of like, oh, well, we just weren't happy. And then Ken just so happened to come to Louisiana and we're doing the matching tattoos and the trips to the Dollar General. And um, now, obviously, things that are much more serious. Um, but I, I, don't, I don't appreciate someone playing me for a fool. And I think that Gypsy Rose has played so many people for the fool. While simultaneously serving garbage, she has not done anything that is worth millions and millions of views on TikTok. I would just feel like such a terrible piece of garbage if I married this person from prison. They set up their whole life around me coming out and us, you know, at least giving life a try. Three months ain't a try. Let's be real. It was less than less than three months, actually. So you did everything leading up to this point to prepare for this only for that person to reconnect with an ex fiance and then throw it right in your face and then try to tell everybody that you're a food hoarder and this like, you know, basically she's painting him out what like he's like some fat weirdo like the way that Gypsy Rose has painted Ryan Anderson has been so 
unfair. And I'm here for play fair. Don't get an RO against somebody and then ask for uh, alimony and then be doing all this trashy stuff that has been going on with Gypsy. People who ask for ROs are because they usually need them and they're fearing for their safety. Not so they can parade around the internet and say, I got an RO against my ex-husband, but I'm still going to fight with him in the comments. I really wonder what her parole officer is thinking about all of the, all the stuff that she's doing. I understand that it's not illegal activity, but I do really kind of wonder if I could be a fly on the wall. Like, I'd like to hear what her parole officer is having to say about all of this. What a charade of bullshit. The whole thing. It's also been released that Ken is moving to Louisiana from Texas to, you know, go through with this relationship that they have going on. I mean, obviously, that's not a surprise at all. I, in fact, I wouldn't have been surprised if someone said he's already moved there permanently. He seems like the, um, you know, kind of guy to be fully invested in whatever is giving him attention at the current moment in time. And um, I think that he is going to become a, he, he's going to just become another outlier of the people that Gypsy uses and disposes of when she is bored and ready to go to the next thing. It's very sad. Um, but allow him to get his little five minutes because I don't think it's going to be here very long. So when we're talking about Pixie, Pixie is the puppy that Ryan and Gypsy got because Gypsy was home alone all day while Ryan was out working and she felt like they weren't ready for a baby so she wanted to get a fur baby and I have this clip here I'm gonna go ahead and play it but it's very interesting current day how she's trying to say oh well when she wants to fight with Ryan in the comments say things like Oh, if this was our child, would you want to rehome our child? Ryan is somebody who works full time. Even though I would love for Pixie to stay with him, if he feels like he is not able to give Pixie the time and attention that she deserves, and he knows a family that maybe somebody works from home, maybe they have, um, maybe it's a couple that's retired, so they're both home a lot. Um, and if he feels like that's giving Pixie a better life, that is not irresponsibly rehoming a dog. That is hopefully giving this dog, who's literally not even a year old, a chance at having the undivided attention that a puppy needs. The stuff for the puppy? I do. It was just time to have an addition to our family. A baby is a little too soon, so I'm like, let's start slow with a fur baby. Pixie was the name of a bunny rabbit that I had when I was really little. My bunny ran away, never seen her again. Never had a puppy before. I really am not familiar with all the little signs. This is new for me. I just personally find it very interesting that Gypsy Rose wants to put in her TikTok bio that she's living her best life and she still makes the time to watch Ryan's videos when she wanted so far away from him like this is over it's a wrap but you want to get messy in the comments and ignore your restraining order that you obtained against him to say things like tell them how you want to get rid of Pixie I have the receipts funny how all you post is her and then you text um then you text how you want to dump her off on someone else people will see who you really are soon is Gypsy saying that Ryan is texting her? Because I don't know. For me, I would find it very hard to believe that Ryan Anderson is reaching out to Gypsy Rose. Um, but I could be wrong. Gypsy literally said, you were her family. If she was a child, would you give our kid up for adoption because we are separated? Irresponsible AF. What I said in my last video where I talked about this initially when it first happened a couple days ago, if Gypsy Rose is so upset about what's going on with Pixie and she's over here with Ken wanting to get a husky puppy, why don't you go ahead and get off your ass and bring Pixie to your home and give her the life that you promised?
I don't understand this. I, I don't understand the hypocrisy. I don't understand the messiness. I don't understand going so far out of your way to really, it kind of makes you look like you're a liar. I think Gypsy Rose thrives off of attention. I think that she keeps people in her life while she's entertained by them and or while they are serving her a purpose and I think that she will discard them and move on to the next thing. The thoughts that I want to close out with today is there have been so many people during my coverage of Gypsy Rose I consistently get at least a couple comments of people saying well her maturity is stunted because of her childhood and all of her time in prison she needs room to grow, blah, 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 blah. And let me tell you guys, when she was initially released, I was going to be very, very patient with her and just allow her to like, let the girl do her advocacy work and allow her to use her platform for good and, you know, um, bring awareness to proper causes while being transparent and truthful. And that is just not what we got. And I am so tired of people making individuals like Gypsy Rose who orchestrated the murder of her mother, just making her uber famous, giving her all of the attention, all of the likes. She's going on more podcasts. She is literally, she has been made a celebrity. And what did she do? She killed her mother, okay? So all of y'all that are giving this energy to Gypsy Rose and saying how slay, queen, la la la, whatever, do you feel the same way about people like Charles Manson? I just firmly disagree with the celebrity status that Gypsy Rose has been given, considering what she has done herself. She's over here riding the um, TMZ tour bus. Of course she is. Of course she's riding the TMZ tour bus. She's holding hands with TMZ, in my opinion, to make sure that her name is literally being published every single day. Gypsy Rose has been granted celebrity status, and she does not deserve it. We should be platforming and giving attention to people that are not anything like what Gypsy Rose is. I think it's very alarming that she has been given this huge platform to stand upon and literally do nothing with it and play in your all's faces and receive comments like yes queen what is this really what society is doing now whatever i'm concerned but as always i am here to report on it so for now if you like the video please leave a like in the comments and if you'd like to see more from me in the future please subscribe i'll see you guys soon bye